We are into the main cup quarterfinals, the first of four for which we shall have the Cobbs taking on the Rams in the first one. And now I'm joined by a stand-in coach. I think that's a proper in introduction for Timothy Lyrica, who has been uh, best in the region for the past one year, I could say. A very, very talented young man playing for the Mongas. But uh, career and work has brought him to this beautiful, beautiful district of, Ka of Kabarole, where the Toro Lions are best. Um, just a few comments from you before we get to kick off in the main cup quarterfinals. Uh, What's your impression with the boys in this uh, in this Toro Sevens well, we are. Thank you very much. We are very glad to have uh, the Rugby Sevens coming to uh, the region, to Fort Porto most especially because this is our second year as Toro Lions to be in uh, participation and us hosting this means so much, means so much for the club and for the region as well. Yeah. Alright, and the club will be very happy with their performance having beaten regional rivals the Barra Titans in that placement game. But now we have the main cup quarter final between the Cobbs and the Rams. As the Cobbs orchestrate an attack from deep inside their own territory. Joseph Aredo with Byron Oketa on his outside, doesn't use him. Goes back to James C. Jongat on the inside. And James C. Jongat will take Kaliango for pace, but he is brought down by the young man, the under 20 international. The ball is lost forward by the Cobbs. Michael Kaliango. Michael Kaliango, very good defense from the under 20 international to force that turnover and get the ball into the hands of the Rams. Uh, this is a really uh, amazing quarterfinal. Rams has been especially dominant and very, very, very good in the last uh, few circuits. And we have Cobbs with a new look side where well, we know they've been having these players. But uh, to see Oketayot back in the fray after his surgery earlier this year, Manano and Nijo, really their best rugby at the moment. Uh, set up for a very spicy encounter here. Right, first scrum feed for the Rams onto Ryan Mwandegu also, an under 20 international. Sends that ball out. And Joseph Aredo with a very quick break, a quick penalty. His momentum gets him to the try line. Yeah, they, these players will get some advantage with the wet surface. Joseph Aredo being tackled just out at the five, but the momentum slides him over the whitewash for the first try of the game. Joseph Aredo missed the Rujumba 7's final, but the Cobbs were well facilitated to win that against the Heathens. He is now on hand to lead them through this quarterfinal, and he scores the first try. James Sijogat will look to put the extras on the board. And they lead 7-0, the Cobbs, against the Rams. Joseph Aredo on the restart, but his kick goes short and straight into the hands of Pius Ogena. Michael Kaliango will be looking to get the restart going as the clouds rumble and threaten with some more rain as the skies were just beginning to clear. Looks as though he's going to the right side, but takes to the left side. And now Jude Rakayanga, another switch by the Rams. They like to play the switch. And now onto the open side. Kaliango playing number 10 duties to Boaz Musasizi. Strong carry into Alhaji Manano. Stays on his feet, offloads to Kaliango. Another switch. And there goes Opileni Hosanna, his first involvement in today's game. Uh, you can clearly see from what Rams are trying to do. They're playing their basic fights. They're trying to get into contacts really well. And it should reap some results for them in this encounter, given how consistent they have been at their game plan for the last uh, couple of years. 
and it will be exciting to see how this pans out before the half-time. Ah, very unfortunate there. Could I call in the comment to as the ball is lost forward in the middle. <laughs> ball uh, lost forward by Kawesa John Paul. Hands free possession to the Cobs just at the halfway point. Joseph Aredo at number nine with Ijonga just right in the pocket and to the left and the right is Alhaji Manano and Karim Arinai to a straight out of the Uganda National 7 squad but was released by his head coach to take part in this national series. Let's see which direction this ball will be taking. On to the open side, straight to Karim Arinai to He's up against Blaney Hosanna, carry straight into him. A big contest by the Rams at that breakdown but the ball is well secured by the Cobbs. Shuffled out through the hands on to Derek Kwasiwe, who scored a very beautiful try in the Rujumba 7's final. Now Alhaji Manano on the outside. Cuts back inside. Is held up by Ryan Mandego. It's not yet a mall, so he needs to fight and get on his, on his knees, which he does. Tackler will need to roll away quickly there. Kawesa Paul. Oh, that is fast. And there's a bit of a hassle between Jude Rakayanga and Paya Sogena as play continues. The referee leaves them to sort themselves out. It's a 3v2 situation. Joseph Aredo will dance his way past the defense as the scuffle continues. That's a... Uh, I've never seen such a situation. The players are exchanging hard bags and Joseph Aredo will just march gently and score the second try of the game under the upright. Well, that is one of the unfortunate bits of the game. The ref was in a position he couldn't be able to see, but uh, I believe from our angle we could see what happened. Jude threw a light jab to Vena's face and that is what caused the entire, the entire scuffle. But yeah, we, we see Rams what they're trying to do. They are trying to execute what they usually do, holding up their players, holding up their opponents to, to, to try and turn over position. But uh, of this account, they have failed and it will be interesting to see how they do it with the big boys in Cobbs. Yeah, sure. Surely with uh, the, the officials that are available today, that will be a sighting for Jude Rakayanga after throwing a bit of a chip shot at Pius again and Pius again was having none of that, which ended up sucking in almost the entire Rams team and there were four men attacking against two. It was an easy try, probably the easiest that Joseph Aredo could have scored. They lead 14 teams. Zero to Rams. But there was a there on the Close forward there by Michael Kaliango, who had Byron Okita Yot breathing down his neck. <laughs> <laughs> Typical case of David versus Goliath in, in this encounter. Skies have cleared, the rain has stopped pouring down. And the main cup quarterfinals couldn't have started at a better time. So the scrum penalty is awarded to the to the Rams. Michael Kaliango on a quick wrist that dances his way past Alhaji Manano. There's protest that he started that play away from the mark. Judra Kayanga now secures the ball. Opileni Hosanna with Karima Inaitwe in front of him loses the ball forward. It is a knock on what looked like it was advantage play for the Cobbs. That is very, very it's going to be half time 14-0. <laughs> Karim and Knight will be thinking that piece came a little bit too early. As Joseph Aredo now approaches the center referee to have a word with him.
kick off for the second half. There it is. Crooks leading with a score of 14 runs yet to get themselves onto the scoreboard. Not to that they are not to an effort, but they are yet to breach the back lines of Crooks. For a great advantage. Come with the Rams put in just outside the red zone. And very dominant scrum from Cobbs, but the penalty, the penalty at the scrum goes the way of Rams and is brought back for he couldn't take it at the mark. That's what we call it. Attacking in open field. From side is 22. Now finds Alhaji Marana with the man on his outside. Marana Ito receives a bad pass but puts it to the foot. He is well fielded by and gathered by Yango Maiko. He's trying to dance backwards. Finds Kaledo. Kaledo. He dances around Alhaji Manano. Manuel Kinyara now. Michael Kaliyamo puts it to the foot. But it will be well gathered here. By Byron Oketa. Byron Oketa knows one route. One route only. He will try to run around Kawesa Paul. He's given a shoeless tackle. He has lost the ball for Byron Oketa. Ruth Moja, this young, this, this very talented man whose career started at the picking up a few injuries doing the better in Commonwealth and in Chile. So, yeah, it would be nice to see him as well getting back into the fold as Cobbs puts up another dominant scrum. The ball moving directly to the wing, now in the arms of Karim and Nigel. Karim and Nigel asking his captain to drop back in the channel for a switch. But the captain doesn't read that. But the ball is well secured by Pais Ogena, who is throwing dummies around town. But he is tackled from the back and loses the ball forward. Now the Rams are in attack. Kaliango Michael with three men on his outside. Attempts to dance around Pais Ogena. Offloads to Joseph Kana. To Carl Edo, rather. And that will be a call for a knock forward. With the Rams in attack, should be advantage. Should be advantage, yeah. but that is the third controversial call made in this uh, in this uh, encounter. With uh, him not calling anything for the fight that was here, as well as not giving advantage to calls for a knock on towards the end of the first half. And now the Rams as well, who had possession of the ball. Maybe there was no territory advantage. They have to feed from the scrum with the Pileni Hazana, another under 20 international. This is laden with international. The international is the Ram squad, having been coached by uh, Richard Lumut. There's Pileni Hosanna puts it to the boot. Every other player is offside. Jamsi Jongat will control it with his right foot. 
that finds Karim Arinai to win the long pass out then Uganda International from the Rugby World Cup will take to find his opposite will find his his captain on the opposite end Marco Suna is not having the best of days offloads it back to James Jongat there goes a quick line out by the Rams Michael Kaliango in open space plays the ball on the floor once he had Joseph Arredo rushing onto him on that cross covering tackle now Joseph Arredo out to Derek Kwasiwe Haji Manano Jude Juko power ball carrier tries to fend off his man but it doesn't work this time he is still on his feet and charging towards the try area brought down by the Rams but it is an overlap Joseph Arredo in space tries to dance in front of Emmanuel Kinyera, but he loses his footing and it is back to the breakdown. Derek Tukwasi with tackled by a player who is in an offside position. And Jude Joko, will he be doing a quick restart? No, he won't. Sets it down for his uh, former captain, Joseph Arredo. <laughs> It would be uh, interesting to see Jude Juko do the quick restart in such a position. Yeah, he, we all know he's a very heavy and powerful player in, in the Cobb squad and generally one that we could use in our uh, 15 setup. However, these tournaments with the lack of the national stars in, in their respective teams uh, creates a bidding ground for, for the, the talent that is in the clubs to express themselves and, and you know, vie for a shot in the in part of the, the fold for the national setup. Derek Tukwasiwe runs into touch there as he was finding some way to the try area. The flag went up and the Rams will have a line out throw just about five meters away. It's the Buta, the full time whistle goes and Al Haji Manano steals that ball. Captain Marco Suna with two men on his outside. Fades it to Josiah Sempeke. Did he lose that ball forward? Yes, he did. And that will be the final play in this game. Cobb sell through to the main cup semi finals. They will be finding out who they face in this semi final between, after, getting for the winner between the Ginger Hippos and the Heathens.